Venice, the play mainly revolves around a young man, Antonio, who borrows money from Shiloh, a cruel money lender, and as per the terms of bond, if he fails to pay back the money, Shiloh could be entitled a pound of flesh from Antonio's body. Unfortunately, Antonio fails to arrange the money and the case is taken to the court. Here, Portia pleading, Antonio reminds Shylock and the judge, the principle of natural justice is emphasize the which emphasize the mercy of as against positive law. Well, is Antonio here? Yes, my lord. I am here already as a priest. You have come to face a ruthless enemy, an inhuman wretch incapable of pity, without any feelings of mercy. My lord, I have heard that you have done everything to change his mind, but still he remains adamant, and there is nothing I can do to escape him. I will meet his anger with patience and suffer his rage quietly. One of you, go and tell you to come to the court. Everyone thinks and I agree that you are just pretending to be cruel and they think that you are going to show mercy and pity and even though you are here to collect penalty, a pound of this poor merchant's flesh, they think that you will not even let it go but out of humanity and love, you will, you will forgive some portions of principle you owe to you. We all, we all accept a general reply from you, Sela. I have told you what I intend to do and I have sworn to seek the penalty that is due according to the bond. If you refuse to allow me to do so, the city's reputation is in danger. That's not an answer, you heartless man. It does not excuse your cruel behavior. I don't have to give you answers that you like. How can you hope for mercy when you don't render any now? Why should I be afraid of judgment when I haven't done anything wrong? Many of you here own slaves which like your donkeys and dogs and mules used to perform awful jobs just because he bought them. Should I say to you, set them free, let them marry your children, let their beds be as soft as yours and let them eat the same food as you? No, your answer. The slaves are, the slaves are asked and that's just how I'm answering you. The pound of flesh I want from him is dearly bought. It is mine and I'm going to get it. If you refuse me, the laws of Venice have no validity. I await justice. So answer me. Will I get it? I have the authority to dismiss this court. And as Malaria comes today, he's a legal expert. Cheer up, Antonio. Keep up your courage, my friend. I will give the Jew my flesh, blood, bones and everything before you lose one drop of blood for me. I'm like the unsick sheep in the flock. The one deserved to die. The weakest fruit drop to the ground. So let me drop a sinew. The best thing you can do is to write an epitaph for my gravestone. The messenger is waiting outside the door with a letter from Padua. Tell him to come inside. Did he come from Bellario's office in Padua? Yes, my lord. Bellario sends his greetings. This letter from Bellario introduces us to a young and well-educated legal expert. Where is he? He is waiting nearby to find out if you will invite him in. With all my hearts. One of you go and call him. In the meantime, you read out all the letters. I have received your letter, but I am very sick at that moment. As it happened, when your messenger came, a young lawyer from Rome was visiting me. His name is Balthazar. I told him about the case of the Jew and Antonio, the merchant, and we consulted many books together. He knows my legal opinions about this matter and he has his own expert opinions as well. I am sending him in my place to answer your request for someone to act as a judge in this matter. Please don't underestimate him because he is so young, I never knew such a young man with such a mature head. Are you Balthazar? Did Blario send you here? Yes, my lord. Welcome. Are you are you familiar with the case currently before the court? Yes, thoroughly. Which one is the merchant and which one is the Jew? Antonio and Shaila, come forward. Is your name Shylock? Shylock is my name. 
your case is most unusual though the manager law can't stop you from proceeding he has a claim on you merchant is it correct yes so he says do you acknowledge the bond yes i do then the jew will show you mercy on what compulsion must i tell me that mercy is not something that one is forced to practice it falls easily like a gentle rain from a sky it is a doubly blessed thing it bless both the person a person who is showing mercy and a person who is receiving it look it look better on the king than his crown a king scepter is a symbol for his earthly power a source of earth and majesty although you are seeking justice consider this jew If God sows justice against all of us with no mercy, we will definitely go to hell. We pray for justice to God, and that same prayer should teach us all to show mercy to others. This is what I have to say against your desire of seeking justice. I take all responsibilities for my decision. I want the law, the penalty, and the fulfillment of my bond. Can't you pay back the money? Yes, I am offering to pay it back. This moment, two hundred twice the sum. If that's not enough, then I will sign a bond to pay ten times as much, and I will give you my hands, my head, and my heart as security. If that's not enough, then adjustable malicious. I beg you, just once use your authority to bend the great right by doing little wrong. Doesn't let this devil have his way. It must not be. There is no power in Venice that can change an established decree. The change will be recorded as a precedent, and many bad legal decisions will result. A Daniel has come to judgment. Yes, a Daniel. Oh, wise young judge, I honor you. I pray you, let me look upon the board. Here it is, judge. Here it is, judge. Here it is. This board stipulates that if Antonio fails to repay three thousand ducats within three months, Shylock will be authorized to cut a pound of flesh from any part of Antonio's body which pleases him. Shylock, they are offering you three times the money you lend. But I made an oath, an oath, an oath in heaven. Should I pressure my soul by disobeying it? No, not for all of Venice. Why this bond for five are lawfully? By this you may claim a pound of flesh to be cut off from nearest of merchant heart. But be merciful. Take twice the money and pay the bond. When it is paid according to return you, it is a pure worthy judge. You know the law. Your exposition has been most sound. I charge you by the law, where of your well deserving pillar. Proceed to judgment. By my soul, I swear, there's no power in the tongue of man to alter me. I stay here on my bond. I beg the court to deliver the verdict. Well, then here it is. You must prepare for his life. The lawfully authorized penalty. Very true, O wise judge. You're so much older than you look. So bear your chest. Yes, his chest. That's what the bond says, doesn't it, judge? Near his heart. Those are the very words. Is that a scale? Weigh the flesh. Yes, I have it already. Be your surgeon to stand by and bind his wound. Let him bleed to death. Is that call for in the bond? Not clearly, but you could do so much for charity. I can't find it. It is not in the bond. You, Marjan, do you have anything to say? Not much. I'm ready and waiting. Give me your hand, Basanio. Goodbye. Don't be sad that this happened because of you. Because your lady luck has been nicer to me as usual. Usually, she makes a happy man live on after he loses all his wealth, spend his life in poverty. But in my case, it's letting me avoid that misery. Send your honorable wife my greetings and ask how I died and how I loved you. She will love me after I'm dead. And when the deed is done, ask her to judge whether to pass and you had a friend or be sad with the fact that you will lose your friend. Don't regret that I did not pay a debit. If the Jew cuts me deep enough, I'll pay it instantly with all my heart. Antonio, I married a woman as dear to me as life itself, but life itself my wife, and the whole world aren't more valuable to me than your life is. I would give it all up. Yes, I would sacrifice everything to this devil here to save you. Your wife wouldn't like it if she were here to hear you make that offer. We're trying time. Please deliver the sentence. A pound of this merchant flesh is yours. The court awards it and the law authorizes it. 
What a righteous judge. What a righteous judge. And you have to cut the part of flesh from his chest. The court awards it and the law authorizes it. What a wise judge. Come on, get ready. But wait a moment. There is something else. This bond does not give you any blood at all. So take your penalty of a part of flesh to be cut off from nearest of touch and heart. But if you shed one drop of Christian blood, when you cut it off, your land and property will be confiscated under the Venetian law. Oh, what an upright judge. Pay attention. Oh, what a smart judge. Is that the law? You can see for yourself. You ask for justice, so that's for sure you will get more justice than you bargain for. Oh, too. What an upright judge. What a wise judge. Pay me three times the bond and let the merchant go. Here is the money. Wait. The Jew will have only justice. Don't rush. He is not get anything except a penalty of a pound of flesh. Cut less or more than exactly a pound of flesh or take less or more than just a pound if it is the tiniest fraction of an ounce. If the scale change you, by so much as you have, you die and all your property and land will be confiscated under the Venetian law. He second Daniel, he Daniel too. I have got you down. Why is the Jew waiting? Take your penalty. Oh Daniel, I keep saying it is second Daniel. Thank you Jew for teaching me that word. Give me the money and let me go. I have it ready for you. Here it is. No, he refused it publicly in open court. He will have only justice and his penalty. Oh Daniel, I keep saying it is second Daniel. Thank you Jew for teaching me that word. Well then I hope he chokes on it. I'm not staying here dog yet. Wait a minute. The law yet had another hold on you. The law of well estate. If a foreign resistant attempt to kill any citizen, the person he tried to kill will receive one half of all the goods and the second half goes to the state. Whether the offended person lives or dies, it's up to the due. There is no one in your predictor men. You have earned that punishment because you clearly contrive directly or indirectly to kill any citizen. So get down on your knees and beg for mercy from Duke. I want you to see difference between us. So I pardon you even before you ask for a pardon. Half of your wealth goes to Antonio, the other half to the state. Yes, the state half can be reduced, but not Antonio's. No, go ahead and take my life. Don't pardon that. You take my house away when you take away the money I need for upkeep. You take my life when you take away my means of making a living. What mercy can you show him, Antonio? If the Duke and his court agree to set us as a fine for one of his property, I am happy. As long as he lets me have the other off in the trust to give this gentleman who recently stole his daughter. I ask two more things. First, he must immediately become compassionate. Secondly, he must make a will. Here is the court that gives all his wealth, all his property to his son-in-law Lorenzo and his wife. He must let this or I will request a pardon I just delivered. Are you satisfied? I am satisfied. Clerk, <laughs> drop a document to make his gift official. Please, send the deed after me. Let me go. I'm not well. Go, but sign a deed. We have just witnessed how mercy is an opportunity for each one of us to experience the joint gift of God's testimony.